Our lesson today is subtracting fractions and mixed numbers with like denominators. And uh, our goal is to be able to add and subtract, then simplify. We're always going to simplify. Um, our secondary goal is that you will be able to regroup whole numbers uh, into fractions when necessary. And that's going to be our um, kind of key skill today, regrouping uh, holes into fraction pieces. and it isn't hard, it's just a little tricky. Number one, uh, simplifying fractions, that's what we're going to need to know in order to succeed in this lesson. You're going to have to be able to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions, and when I say numerator, denominator, and mixed number, you'll have to know uh, what those things are immediately. If you're at all unclear with any of those things, please review them before you continue with this lesson. Our notes today, how do I regroup a whole number into a fraction? And that's uh, what I'm going to show you right this moment. All right, the, what we're actually doing today is we're going to be subtracting, right? And let's just say that you're subtracting 21 minus 12. A lot of people will be able to do this in their head, but what you've learned over the years is that you start with the ones place and you say 1 minus 2. Well, I don't have enough ones. I have to take this number, break it up into 10 ones. <coughs> which now, oops, I won't have zero. I will have 110 and 11 ones now. So 10 of those ones went to the 11. And now 11 minus two, now that we have enough, is nine and one minus one is zero. So there's the answer. So we are used to regrouping that and we're used to regrouping things since about midway through second grade. Now in fractions, what you're gonna see is Sometimes you have five and one eighth, and you're going to subtract something like three and three eighths. And you're going to say, wait a minute, I don't have enough ones here to subtract three eighths. So I need to regroup one of these fraction pieces. Now, how many eighths, if I took one from the five and made it into a four, how many eighths do I need to bring over here? Well, if the denominator is eight, then I need to bring in eight eighths and add it to that fraction. So that fraction is not eight eighths anymore, now it's nine eighths. All right, so we've just done the same thing uh, that we did when we have whole numbers. We regrouped one of the larger pieces into 10 smaller pieces. Here we regrouped one of the larger pieces, the holes, into eight smaller pieces and then combined them with the fractions. And now I have enough to um, subtract, so nine eighths minus three-eighths equals six-eighths, and then four minus three equals one. And of course, hopefully you're seeing now that that needs to be simplified. But the point of this wasn't you know, to show you how to simplify fractions. It's how to regroup and why you need to regroup. So you gotta take a look at the fraction pieces. If you don't have enough fraction pieces, like we had one here and we're trying to subtract three, uh, you need to regroup one of the whole numbers into fraction pieces knowing how many fraction pieces do I need to add to that uh, in order to um, you know, keep the fraction the same. It's going to come up a couple of times in this uh, lesson. All right, so uh, let's just go through a few examples. First of all, this is a pretty simple problem here. If the denominators are the same, then we just combine or subtract the numerators. Here we have a subtraction problem. So uh, this is seven minus five, which equals two. And since we were subtracting eighths, we have two eighths left over. And um, you should see that by now as one fourth. The greatest common, our greatest common factor is two. And so it's two divided by two is one, eight divided by two is four. And <clears throat> for speed sake, I am not gonna be going through that process. Here's another uh, example with mixed numbers. And just like adding mixed numbers, we're going to take the fraction pieces and the mixed or the uh, whole numbers and you know perform the same operation but separately. So 10 fifteenths minus 2 fifteenths equals 8 fifteenths. And then 9 minus uh, 2 is 7. And that's in its simplest form already. The greatest common factor is 1. And again, this is not a, not a lesson on uh, simplifying fractions. You should by now know how to do that and be doing uh, 
whatever method you use, you should be doing that every time. All right, this last example is one where we have one third and trying to subtract two thirds, and so this needs to be regrouped over here. <coughs> so I'm going to re rewrite this one right below it. Okay, so um, if I don't have enough thirds, I have to take one of these from the five and convert that into a four and know how many thirds then from the four do I give to here. So one whole would make three thirds and so this one third becomes four thirds because I took three thirds from this whole and added it or combined it with the one third. So four and th four thirds equals uh, five and one third. And then we're going to subtract two and two thirds below it, or um, you know, from that. Uh, the key is being organized and knowing how many uh, you know fraction pieces you take from the whole. So now it's a pretty simple problem. Four minus two is two, and then four thirds minus two thirds is two thirds. Uh, and anytime the denominator is one more than the numerator, you are in your simplest form of the greatest common factors is one. So just watch out for um, this situation when you're looking for or when you have fractions and you don't have enough pieces to subtract and you need to regroup. And for our guided practice today I'm going to start off with a couple of uh, fairly simple problems and then work our way up to something a little bit more tricky. Uh, we have eight ninths minus two ninths here and if the denominators are the same they are their ninths you're going to have a number of them and it's 8 minus 2 equals 6. All right, that is not in its simplest form because each one of those can be divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. And you have 2 thirds. Next one, 11 twelfths minus 5 twelfths. And again, the denominators are the same. We're just going to work with the numerators. 11 minus 5 equals 6. And to simplify that, you can do a couple of things. Obviously, find something to divide by, like we did before. And the other thing is, we can just take a look. And if 6 is half of 12, then it's always going to be simplified to 1 half. So if the numerator is half of the denominator, simplest form is 1 half. Now, number 3, we have mixed number now. And in your adding of mixed numbers, you can do it in any order. You can add the whole numbers first and then the fractions, or the fractions first and then the whole numbers. But in uh, subtraction, you really want to add, or excuse me, subtract the fraction parts first, because then you want to see, do I have enough pieces, if I subtract, that I can continue subtracting without regrouping? And in this situation, I have three eighths, and I want to subtract one eighth. That means I have enough eighths. So my fraction part is, 3 minus uh, 1 equals 2 eighths, and then I subtract the whole numbers. 4 wholes minus 1 equals 3. Now that isn't in its simplest form there. 2 and uh, 8 are even numbers. Even numbers can't be in their simplest form, so we need to divide the 2 by something and the 8 by something, and it turns out 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 3 and 1 fourth is the answer to that. If you're used to doing the factor trees, continue with that. If you're used to doing your own method of simplification, continue that. I am speeding this up for the sake of time today. All right, the last one is the tricky one, and that is looking at the fraction pieces. We have 5 twelfths, and we want to uh, subtract 7 twelfths. Earlier, I showed you that you can regroup one of the whole numbers into fraction pieces, combine all the fractions, and then simplify, or excuse me, then subtract. But Instead, what we can do is we can turn this whole problem into improper fractions, and then the subtraction becomes pretty easy. So let's do that. We start at the bottom. Three times or twelve times three is thirty-six. Plus the five equals forty-one, and that's over twelve. So forty-one twelfths minus, and let's uh, do the same thing for the second fraction, and that's one in or twelve times one is twelve. Plus seven equals nineteen. Twelfths. And at this point, you have twelfths and you are just going to subtract 41 minus 19. If you can't do that in your head, it 
happens to be 22. All right, and now I have an improper fraction, 22 twelfths dividing 22 divided by 12 equals 1 and 10 over 12. So there's my answer, but that isn't in its simplest form because you have two even numbers there. So that's going to be uh, divided again. So if you divide each one of these by 2, you get 1 and 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 12 divided by 2 is 6 and when the numerator is 1 less than the denominator you have to be in your simplest form so that's it um, either way the method I showed you earlier or this new way where you just turn everything into an improper fraction whatever works best for you continue with that just know that when you do this improper fraction form you're going to get an improper fraction at the end most likely not all the time but most likely you're going to get one at the end and then you have to go through the added steps of turning it back into a mixed number and then simplifying the fraction part. All right, the common mistakes that we have in this lesson are subtracting without regrouping. It happens even when we're just doing plain subtraction and you see something like this three and one-fourth and you're going to subtract uh, one and three-fourths and the person says oh one minus three that equals two. Two-fourths, two minus, or three minus one equals uh, two and you get that. Well, that's not the way it should work, right? You should have to turn this one into an improper fraction or regroup to make sure you have enough fourths. Uh, don't do this common mistake where you think one minus three equals two. All right, our to-do today, we're going to be working out of the homework book again. We're going to do one through 15 on H-2. We're just doing the odd problems. Just remember, regroup the whole numbers into fractions when you need to do so. Otherwise, this lesson is pretty simple. If you remember to simplify. All right, good luck.